Hello, everyone. Welcome. Guys, we'll get started shortly. Welcome, everyone. Hello, Didi. Welcome. Uh, we'll get started shortly. Hi, thank you. Uh, this is our Q&A class, our Q&A class. Uh, we'll get started shortly. Hey, Tylak. Welcome, Tylak. Welcome. Hi, David. How are you? Ooh, good, good. Welcome. We'll get started shortly. This evening is a Q and A. Uh, Q and A this evening. Uh, what, what did you say, uh, David? Uh, Q and A. We're doing Q and A this evening. Questions oh. and answers. Hey, Gary. Welcome, Gary. Welcome. Hey, how you doing? Hello. We'll get started shortly. Hey, Gerald. Welcome, Gerald. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Oh. Guys, we'll get started shortly. Hey, Kawisi, welcome, Kawisi. Evening, David. Thank you. Hello, hello. Uh, this evening is a Q and A. Q and A. We'll get started shortly here. Hello, Zane. Welcome, Zane. Welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. Guys, we'll get started shortly. Uh, again, uh, Q&A this evening. Q &A. Uh, Welcome in. We'll get started shortly. guys uh, let's go ahead and get started here all right let me share my trading screen all right okay all right all right guys uh this evening on mondays we do q and a all right so this is your opportunity to um ask any questions um on the markets hey charity welcome uh any uh trades that you guys are in uh, uh anything on the systems all right 
Um, uh, so anything in general, but we do want to keep it related to trading. All right. Um, so the markets, trades that you're in, all right, trades that you want to take a look at. So whether it's Forex, crypto, um, uh, equities, all right. Um, so I'm going to open up the floor. Any questions you guys want to start with? Anything on your mind you want to talk about? Any symbols you want to take a look at? Anything at all? Hi, uh, David. I'm in um in the forex stuff. I'm, I'm focusing on the forex stuff. Can okay. we take a look at some of the pound pairs? I mean, I'm in pound Swiss again. Okay. Um, yeah, absolutely, Thailand. Okay. Uh, pound Swiss. And we'll talk about Forex, right? Um, um, so pound Swiss. Were you able to hold, Tylak? Were you able to hold here? Well, what ended up happening is I got margined out. It, it, it dropped way down from when I got in. So uh, um, no, I guess the answer to that would be no. But I got margined out, but I got back in though. Like right there at the at that green candle, I got back in. This one here? Yeah, and then now it's it's gone and it's kind of stagnated up there. The, the next two candles have stayed kind of there at the top, but okay. at least they're green though. Yeah, I was hoping you would. Um, I was hoping because I thought about you and I was hoping because it was holding. We talked about it was holding support, right? It was holding pretty good. Yeah. Here. All right. And right before the weekend, when the market closed, I was in it and I stayed in it, and then. Uh, what happened was over the weekend it gapped down. So mm. this morning I, I I opened up my my app and boom I was I was it was closed out, which really surprised me. But my plan was to stay in it, you know. Yeah, watch watch those margins, guys. Watch those margins, right? Um, yeah, that's the worst thing, right? When you're in a trade and you get kicked out of the trade because of margin, all right. And what's worse is you get you kicked out and then it it really takes off, right? Um, so don't don't run your margins too tightly. All right. So just keep keep an eye on that. Okay. Um, so lesson learned, lesson learned. All right. Um, so we did get a move in the um, in the pound pairs, right? Uh, Ty, like, was there another pair you wanted to uh, before I move? On? Uh, no, that that's the only one I'm in right now. That's the only one. Okay. Um, anyone else? Any um, any question? Anything you guys want to take a look at? All right. All right. Well, stop me at any time. All right. Um, encouraging. We've been talking about the pound pairs, right? Um, so we got a bit of a move um, in some of the pairs. Uh, pound CAD, right? Made a big move up, right? There's big buyer came in today right here all right um so that's that's encouraging uh so we finally got a decent pop um and which one was it uh um uh, gbp hkd is holding nicely made a nice move here higher uh pound new zealand uh nothing yet in pound new zealand pound dollar i think made a move so pound dollar is holding nicely so you guys can see they're starting to trend right so some of them are starting to trend. Um, we are still looking at uh, the big picture here. So which one is this? This is pound dollar. And as you go, nice know it's been oversold. So we're looking for a big a move up. Surprised. I am really surprised by this. Let's take a look here. Uh, the yen pairs, guys, made a big move. And I know we're not trading the yen pairs. And um, I think we might regret it, all right? I am really surprised that they're making a, a big move down. I, you know, we yeah, thought- Yeah, I'm, I'm not a, I got a, I got one trade on that one, uh, David. Did you? Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yep. okay. short hit. Which, uh, good job, which, uh, which pair, Gerald? It's a pound yen. I'm, pound, yeah, uh, pound no, yen. Swiss yen, I'm sorry, Swiss yen. Swiss yen, all right, let's take a look. Because we missed it earlier, David, I think it was the better looking one that was able to be um, giving me some profit at this point, as of this morning. Okay, okay. 
All right, it's breaking support here. Um, if you guys, I'm not, I'm not calling a rotation in this. All right, so we're not gonna call a rotation here. Um, because it's not, it's not a rotation. It's just a trade. All right. So if you guys, if you guys want to take some opportunities, some trading opportunities here. All right. Uh, I still, I still think the pound yen is uh, the, the the pound pairs are perhaps a safer trade. All right. But these 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 yen pairs have surprised me. All right. I was thinking that they would probably hold support right in here and they're really moving lower. And I'm surprised because if you look here, we had um, late in the day today, we had 25 pairs that were above 20. All right. And towards right at the end of the market close, we got three more that just jumped up right at 20 right here. So a lot of consolidation. Look here. We have a lot of consolidation, right? A lot of pairs that are consolidated. So Forex really is consolidating. But if you guys look here, the yen pairs have really taken taken over, right? And it looks like if you guys look here, so uh, TRY, JPY, H HKD, JPY. So we have one, two, three, four, five five yen pairs that are in the in the top positions here here is the seventh position right another yen pair another yen pair pound yen is right here aussie yen is right here new zealand yen is right here all right so basically <laughs> i would say uh the, the 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 trending pairs are the yen pairs all right and um this is not typical where we see complete red here. Those of you who have been trading uh, with us for a while, uh, this is a bit unusual to see it like this, right? So um, and then the pound pairs are down here, but it is what it is, right? Um, we'll go through these yen pairs and see if there, there might be some opportunities. It doesn't look like they... Um, uh, they're ready to uh, 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 get some support. Yeah, on that one right there, I rolled that purple resistance and support and resistance mm -hmm. just just before that wick broke that resistance. I mean, I'm sorry, that support. Okay. That's where I got in my entry point, but I knew there was some trouble with the previous supports all the way across. The, I knew there was going to be trouble, so I would just carefully watch that when once I saw that wick come down, um, I went ahead and got a, a position in that one, uh -huh. and it is is already uh, a pretty good trade so far. So I'm gonna have to watch that previous uh, support, which now gonna be my resistance to determine my exit point. Yeah, yeah. You might even want to put it on a on a thirty minute, but not not too soon, not too soon. Let's take a look at it. All right, um, we might find. Uh, we we can't call it as a rotation. It's not a road. It's not a big overall rotation, right? But there there are some trading opportunities here, all right. And I don't I don't want you guys to miss any opportunities, all right, with uh, with the yen pairs, all right. So let's take a look at it. A uh, good job, good job, Gerald. All right. Um, let's take a look here. And stop me, guys, if you have any questions. Okay, this is this is your time, right? So Q and A. This is your time. Um, anyone else in the yen pairs? Anyone? Anyone else courageous enough <laughs> to trade the yen pairs? Uh, Man, it was the only thing that was trending on the board is the yens, and I went through through all. It was literally the only pairs that are trending. Yeah. Yeah, yep. I mean, we got a decent pop in the in the pound pairs, but uh, as far across the board, that's what's moving. Okay, so um, let's go through them. All right, let's go through them. Um, so Zaw Yen, all right, Zaw Yen. Um, if you guys wanted to, all right, um, on the two forty. Um, now the Zaw is a big mover. All right, it moves, it's expensive. Um, 
but if you guys want to take an opportunity it's it's near it's um uh right here here is this here is the the sell short signal right here right here and guess what it's still it's still early right if it breaks this support right here you guys can see that if it breaks this support right here that's redistribution all right uh it's coming out of a nice consolidation, right? Nice consolidation, nice support here. A really good support here. All right, sell short signal right here. All right, clearly in the markdown phase. All right, so that's an opportunity here. Be careful, it is a bit expensive. All right, um, let's see what it looks like on, well, we'll look at the larger time frames in a minute. Um, so that's Zaw Yin. That's an opportunity here. All right. Now, still be careful. Uh, let's see here. Uh, dollar Yen. Boy, look at that. You know, Dollar Yen. That's really taken off. All right. Support right here. It broke support and just really moving lower, all right? Really moving lower, all right? Uh, hey, Ray, welcome, Ray, welcome. Hey, Stella, welcome, Stella, welcome. All right, um, let's see here. Okay, um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't, um, honestly, we've missed an opportunity. I didn't call it, wasn't going to call it, surprised by this move. Okay, um, but again, there are some opportunities. Do not, I wouldn't chase this here, all right? I wouldn't chase this. SGD, JPY, all right? All right, markdown phase, all right? NZD, JPY, all right? Um, I, would, I would be careful here with this one here. It's holding support right here. All right, and anything, like I said, anything can have these pairs, we only have really 28, right? Above 20, all right? All, you know, the market, it's, this is not what we wanna see here. A lot of selling, no real direction, all right? So buyers can come in at any time, but uh, the way the price action, hey, Amy, welcome. The way the price action look, it looks like we might have some continued selling. All right. Uh, which one is this? Uh, HKD JPY. All right. Look at that. I mean, a lot of selling. Pound yen. All right. So pound yen. Um, Gerald, this is the one you're in, right? Pound yen. No, I'm in the uh, Swiss yen. That, the Swiss that one gave me a little worried besides this. It's okay. Switching. Look, look the best. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, keep be be careful here, right? It hasn't. We could get buyers cut to come in here. Euro yen, right? This is a nice break. All right, this is a nice break here. Um, and this was the concern. This was the concern here, and these are moving fast, right? This was the concern right here. All right, but we it it's great trade by far these pairs i'm i'm shocked okay um but certainly would have been a good a good trade a good trading opportunity all right um and i'll show you guys um if you wanted to trade it how to get in all right all right uh let's see here swiss swiss again uh, guys, I'm getting some background noise, please. Uh, yeah, we're getting some background. Thanks, thanks. All right, um, here is a, a decent one here, uh, Swiss yen. So that's yours here, Jerry, Gerald, Swiss yen. Swiss yen, uh, let's see here. And cad yen, boy, they're moving. Cad yen, all right, and Aussie. Aussie yen. All right, so let's do this. Um, 
not much opportunity on the uh, except for Gerald's on the 240. All right, they've moved. Uh, we have to be careful here. Okay, but let's do this. We are going to change this time frame uh, to a 30 minute time frame. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it here. So pound, uh, let's see, EUR, EUR, JPY. All right. All right, let's remove the, uh, we're gonna remove the long, turn on the short. All right, same here. And you guys can do this on your system. Just know that um, you, we want to be quick. Yeah, because this could change. All right, so Euro, Euro, Yen, that's gone, right? There was a sell short signal here on the 30, another one here. Um, uh, Swiss, so yours, uh, Swiss, uh, JPY. Okay, that's gone to Gerald. This is yours, right? Swiss yen. Yeah, that's the one I'm in. Swiss yen. Okay, um, manage it on the 30. Okay, um, manage it on the 30. Um, because if you look here, um, you got in. When did you get in? Hey, Zaire, welcome. Uh, when did you I get in? I got in at the break of that. Um, hold on, let me. All right. Right here. Hold on, hold on I'm on the break. break. Yeah, just before the, uh, just before it broke that purple, Resistance on the 30 minutes. Let me see if it's on the 30 minutes. On the 30? Yeah. I think it's on the, no, let me see, yeah. I can't remember exactly when I got in. Um, it was, I gotta believe I was watching the 240 when I got in. Okay. Not the 30. Okay. I got it all written down, I'm not at my desk. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, okay, I it wasn't it was at the break of that. Well, what price? You know the price. I don't have the price on me now. Okay, all right, that's fine. Yeah. Just just yeah. know that I don't don't keep it on the don't keep it on the two forty. All right, because your yeah. your um your where your um uh, your sell short signal is all the way up here. Okay. And, exactly. And, and let's say you, even if you got in anywhere in here, right, it's really extended. Mm -hmm. So um, keep it on the 30. You get a, you get a, a buy, if it covers, buy to cover, here's your sell short. It gives you a buy to cover, get out. Right. Okay. Get out. Uh, All right. They got extended really fast. I mean, these are quick moves down. Okay. Um, any questions? Any question on this? So this is here. Any questions, guys? Any questions on this? Zaya, did you trade any of these yen pairs? Were you brave enough to trade these yen pairs, Zaya? Yeah, David. Um, <laughs> CHF, uh, JPY, and Euro JPY. Yeah, I figured you might be all over this. Yeah. All right. So. Um, so CHF JPY, so you in this one also with Gerald, CHF JPY, and then which was the other one? Euro JPY. Euro, Euro JPY. 
Yeah, I'm looking at CAD. Okay. JPY, but I'm kind of watching it. Okay, so you're... Uh... All right, let's do this. All right, so Euro, Euro JPY. Okay, Euro JPY. All right, um, what time frame? Well, I was looking on the 240. Well, I'm in on the 240, but what I kind of did was start pulling up the daily and I'm looking, hoping that it will overextend. So if you put the daily, I'm, I got in on the 240, but I'm hoping for it to go a destination on the daily. Where where did you get in on the on the 240? How far? I 163 there about. 163? Yeah. No, not on the daily. 160. No, no on the 240. On the 240. 130. I'm sorry, 136. Six. Yeah. Okay, so right down here, 130, 136. Okay. Um, I wouldn't I keep it on like just like Gerald, keep it on that on that 30 minute. Now, now I would watch both. So if you got in right here, understand your sell short signal was here, right? But let's take a look at the daily. All right. Um let's take a look at the daily here. Now Listen, I'm shocked that these uh, these moves right here, right? But uh, so they could move lower. Um, let's see here. All right. So, uh, boy, that's a falling knife there, isn't it? All right. All right. Uh, let's see here. So if we get 132, that would be nice. If not, then whatever. But I'm just looking at it that way. Yeah, one. The way it's moving, you 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 know, it just might happen. Um, one thirty-two right here. That's your next. That's your next support. So, um, good job. You might get it. Um, so here is previous resistance. Look here, right here. All right, here, here, here. All right. Um, so yeah, you know, that's about, if it gets down here, that's another, uh, what, 300 pips or so all the way down here. Yeah, if, if it gets down there, I'm, I'm getting off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but keep in mind, this is on the daily. All right. But yeah, you, um, uh, just, yeah, keep it, keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. All right. They really broke down really nicely. I really broke down really nicely. Um, this certainly would have been a great trading opportunity, but risky, right? Risky because what, what could have happened is um, uh, buyers could have came in right here, right? This happened really quick. We're talking um, uh, Friday, Sat, Sunday, you know, today. So it happened really, really quick. Um, uh, let's see here. Okay. And CAD, CAD was the next one. So CAD, CAD yen. Uh, CAD yen. Are you in this one too, Zaire? No, you, I'm watching, watching that it? one for, yeah, for probably tonight. Okay. It's kind of iffy. Okay. That's on the daily. So let's put it on the 240. Uh, two forty. <clears throat> oh boy, look at that. Look at the two forty. Look at the two forty. Just be careful with these. All right, just be careful. Um, like I said, you know, if you guys are gonna trade these, um, really manage them on the 30 minute. Uh, 
Uh, let's pull up an RSI just to see how oversold we are. This move happened really quick. Um, all right, oversold here. See here, we are oversold. We oversold right here, just like here. So be careful. Uh, The trade was at the buy at the sell short signal up here, but we 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 would not have gotten that, guys. I mean, yeah, we would not have gotten that. Um, let's see here. So, um, Zaire, be careful here. Here is where buyers came in right here. All right, the last time. All right, so the last time it was oversold here oversold here right buyers came back in all right and we oversold here all right so just be careful just be careful um but it could it could go lower who knows right i have no idea what's going on here with the yen here so there must be some data to push it lower all right any other pairs did zaya did you have another pair no, those are the only three. Okay. All right. Any yeah, other? I'm on, yeah, I'm oh. in the New Zealand uh, USD, the New Zealand pairs or New Zealand. Yeah. USD. USD, NZD, USD. Yes. NZD. For long. For long. Yeah. All right. All right. So you guys are trading. Right, you guys are trading. What's out? The there? USD CAD actually looked better. I just figured these all three will be trending up eventually if once that Swiss gets its act together. Oh, okay. Uh, but USD all CAD. three will go up. Uh, no, New Zealand, New Zealand CAD. I'm sorry. Oh, New Zealand CAD. Okay. Yeah. New Zealand CAD. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. New Zealand CAD. I didn't take a trade on it. Um, <clears throat> I should have, but I did take it on the USD. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, right now it's just a trading environment, right? So just be careful. You guys have to pick and choose, right? We don't have an overall rotation, all right, in 4X. Um, I still think the safest bet um, um, are the pound pairs. Okay, uh, so if you guys want to be a bit conservative, so those of you who are fairly new, you're right, you want to play it a bit safe. All right, um, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fool around with the yen pairs. All right, stay with the pound pairs. All right, um, anyone still in the pound pairs? Anyone still in the pound pairs? USD. Uh, pound USD. Um, Ray Pound USD. Okay, where is it? Uh, but I'm glad you guys are. Uh, I'm glad you guys are. Uh, um, uh, those of you who are taking some positions in the yen pairs, I'm, I'm glad you guys are doing that. Um, because sometimes moves will happen just out of nowhere. All right. And sometimes you just got to jump on them. All right, and so sometimes those are your really big trades, right? They just come out of nowhere. So good, good job taking taking those trades. Just manage them, right? Just manage them properly. Watch the thirty. Um, uh, Ray, the you uh, GBP USD. Um, you got in. Where did you get in? Where, where did you get in, Ray? Um, let's go. Uh... I've been home. I've been in uh, just after that console consolidation of the dip after the uh, buy signal. Okay. Okay. So right in here. Okay. Yeah, around there. Okay. So good job. Hold on to it. Um, that's reaccumulation. So if you wanted to add a bit more to it, you can do that. Right. Nice markup phase. Right. It's getting past. It's getting past this consolidation right here, which is good. 
All right, so if we do this, uh, let's do this here. This is, this, is, this is your safest trade right here, I think. All right, so if you can, if you can get, you get in past this consolidation here, see here? All right, so a break here uh, would bring us, right, would bring us get past this area. So your goal is get past this area. You can add a bit here. And then the next target is up in this area here, okay? Up in this area here. Now remember on the weekly time frame, um, this is what we have on the weekly time frame. So this is, uh, if you guys remember, uh, on the weekly time frame. All right, this is what we this is what we're looking at here. All right, uh, let's bring it out here. All right, so. All right, right about right about here. All right, so this is this is uh, where we held support before. Held support before. Held support before. All right, and we held support here. We won't count this. And then here is resistance. All right, so if we can get anywhere, and it looks good on the 240, if we can get anywhere back in this area here, you might it might stall. If it gets here, it might stall in this area here, kind of like it did here. <laughs> it did here, right? Okay, um, but even with that, that's about uh, a good 300 pips, which is not bad. Um, if we look at an RSI, if we look at an RSI, so um, we should have more more traders in the pound pairs. You know, I think that's your um, uh, your safer trade. Uh, let's see here, uh, RSI add study RSI. Okay. All right. So this is what we're hoping for. And we started to see price move higher. Today was good for the pound pairs. All right. So oversold here, oversold. We got to move up. All right. Oversold, a bit oversold, oversold here. We got to move up. Uh, a little bit here, oversold here, oversold here, we gotta move up, oversold here, all right, oversold here, we gotta move up. So we are oversold here, right? And it's held support right here, just like previous. So we just need a, a, a nice little move to the upside, okay? So Ray, hold on to it, right? Watch your, um, watch your margin, you don't wanna get kicked out of it, all right? So watch your margin. All right, um, but hold on, hold on to it. Uh, you could get a move um, higher. All right. Um, uh, anyone else in the pound pairs? Anyone else? Bill, are you in the pound pairs? No, I'm not anything right now. Oh, Bill, you're being smart. Yeah, I'm watching <laughs> these guys. <laughs> Oh, it's hard. It's hard to stay away from from the markets, right? But uh, actually, you know, um, that's what we really need to be doing, you know. Um, but again, you know, there there are some opportunities out there, all right. Uh, but if you if you're on the sideline, that's fine too. That that's fine too. Okay, it's consolidated. I mean, look here, guys. Look here. All of these pairs here in red, they're not doing anything, right? So if we look at dollar Swiss right here, that's not doing anything. We look at USD CZK, that's not doing anything. All right, Aussie Swiss, that's not doing anything. All right, so look at that. Look at pound New Zealand, <laughs> right? Absolutely nothing here. So a lot of these pairs are consolidated. So Forex as a whole is consolidated, all right? Basically, really, the yen pairs are the pairs that are trending. All right, so that's fine, Bill. That's fine. Um, how about charity? Charity, are you in anything? No, I didn't get in on anything because of the charts on the right. 
the numbers on the right side of the screen, most okay. of them are red or there's not really enough of it in yellow. So yeah. kind of took that as a sign to not really get into any trades right now. Yeah, good job, good job. And that's uh, that's discipline, right? That's building that discipline. All right, good job, good job. Not, not, not that you guys can't trade, all right? Not that you guys can't trade. You can trade, but you can also sit on the sidelines, okay? And, and wait for the next rotation. Um, hey, Stella, how, uh, any, are you in anything, Stella? I just yeah. want to get, get a kind of feel of what you guys are doing out there. Stella. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the next clear rotation. Oh, my God. You guys are doing great. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Um, yeah. Good made job. some positions in the past. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we learn, right? That's how we learn. That's how we learn. So the good thing about um, the good thing about right um, staying out of this is that we protect our capital, right? We protect our capital, um, and then when the next rotation start, we'll be we'll be ready. All right. Um, if you guys wanted to kind of practice, right? So um, if when the market gets like this, you can practice a bit, right? Just do small, you might do one, one, you know, one lot, very small, but it's okay. That's, that's, very, that's, that's a lot of discipline to, to, to be on the sideline. All right. How about you, Gary? Are you trading anything, Gary? Um, <clears throat> no, I've been... <laughs> Uh, I've been missing action a little lately. I've been sick. So, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, hope you feel better. Hope you feel better. All right. Let yeah. me know. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Yes, sir. Definitely. Okay. All right. Um, Amy, you want to take any other any other questions on forex? Any other questions on forex? I just was wondering if the like short short opportunities would have a different sign on that right hand side like if it would also show um if the signs that we're looking for are going to be trending in yellow for shorts or if they would trend in red or if maybe it doesn't matter for yeah short. it it wouldn't matter right so like up here up here um the yen pairs are trending short right so they're trending but they're trending short all right, so so this will show they'll show up here on what's trending, whether they're trending long or short. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good question. Um. So Zayn, and then I'll I'll get with Amy's question. So Zayn, you're looking at pound dollar. Um. Oh, so pound dollar. Pound dollar. So pound dollar to go long, right, Zayn? To go long. Yes. All right, all right. Um, yeah, so uh, what time frame you're looking at? The 240 or smaller time frame? 240. 240, okay, okay. Uh, let's take a quick look here. Uh, uh, 240. All right. All right, so... Um, I would be careful, right? You're not in it currently, right, Zane? You're not in That's it? That's correct. Okay. Um, I wouldn't. Um, it, here was the buy signal all the way down here, and it's moved up quite a bit. Okay. If you were, if you, if you want to trade it, I wouldn't trade it on the 240. Absolutely not. Um, perhaps a 30 minute time frame. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's gone. It's gone pretty far up that markup phase. So a, you might find an opportunity on the 30 minute. Uh, let's take a look at Euro. Your next one was Euro dollar. Hey Euro. David, while you're looking for that, how, what mm -hmm. is the better, what is the best way to determine volume in, in uh, currency? There is no volume, you know, that's okay. the thing. Yeah, the thing. Um, okay. yeah, we can, we can do volatility, um, but the best way I know how right is 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 right here right okay gotcha yeah, yeah that's that's the best way i wish you know there was volume um 
and there might be you know there might be ways to do it now to do volume i just don't do that research anymore you know um years ago when i when i started trading forex there there wasn't a way to to track volume it's usually tracked by volatility um uh, good question uh you euro dollars and that was your next pair so euro uh where is it euro let me just type it in you are uh usd euro dollar okay this is a better opportunity here um i would be careful though um uh, it's kind of mixed um but you do have a buy signal here Zane. um here is resistance right here and you've got a buy signal here all right uh you've got support right here so this would be an isolated trade you don't have the the whole group moving long you see here it's kind of mixed <laughs> some are down some are up all right um but uh i mean pretty good pretty good resistance here right price is moving higher look here right so you got you got let me draw it out here right pretty good pretty good support right pretty good resistance right and guess what price is moving higher right you got higher lows right here higher highs right here so you could get a breakout all right but isolated trade sure. isolated sure. trade yeah no, good job it. yeah good job this is a good, good pick here all right and amy i wanted to look at uh bitcoin and ethereum okay and then um if you guys don't have any other questions uh we'll end with this this evening um uh, one second here. Hmm. Okay, Dave. Good night. We'll talk later. Uh, good night. Good night. All right. Okay. So Ethereum, and uh, let's see here, Ethereum. all right so amy what are you looking to do here with uh here is bitcoin are you looking to do anything i just want to get in and i just want to get a good entry <laughs> what's that i'm sorry i, I didn't hear you i want to i want to get i want to get in but i just want a good entry and you know the markets are so uncertain it's just like kind of freaking me out okay okay <laughs> <laughs> um well there is nothing to do yet all right um so let's take a let's take a look at it um right now um bitcoin this is bitcoin on the daily time frame and uh it's consolidating right now all right so um uh, we do not have a buy signal uh the, the short signal closed um last week i think yeah i think it was last week uh, so there is nothing price is consolidating right right now we would need a break for bitcoin we would need a break above i would say to for it to get about twenty five thousand to kind of clear this area right here uh before we can get a buy signal ethereum is is, is looking a bit better right um so we we do have buyers coming in all right so it's holding buyers here these green candles right there was a wash buy to sell uh, sell short signal buy to cover and sellers are, are holding here i mean buyers are holding here uh the thing to be careful with um with um uh the cryptos is that we are still in the markdown phase all right we are still in the markdown phase and what could happen is this yeah i have one other question for you david when you get down oh okay okay all right okay so look here right look here um all right so here was our sell short signal sellers came in right covered buyers came in right here and guess what sellers came back in 
another sell short signal, buy to cover, and buyers are coming in here. All right, so the same could happen here. All right, so if we get a buy signal, we'll call it. All right, but you know we could get us uh, sellers to come in and move lower. All right, so uh, be just be careful. I wouldn't get in. We're not calling any any um, buys right now um, on Ethereum or Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is actually in worse shape because. It um, it's still consolidating, and the bigger concern, the larger concern with um, with Bitcoin, and the the other cryptos will will follow uh, Bitcoin. Um, if we take a look at the weekly time frame, all right, sellers are definitely still in control here. All right, so we could see selling come back in. Right, a support, we still hold into this support, right, at 10,000 for Bitcoin, all right? A lot would have to change. We would need to see buy signals, not only buy signals on the daily time frame. we would have to see a nice move through that markup phase, okay? So just a buy signal alone wouldn't do it. We need to see build up of buying, right, to come in. Okay, because this is still very, very dangerous. All right, it's trying to, it held, it held so far support at 20,000. This is support here at 20,000. All right, that's a big number for Bitcoin right now. It, it wasn't, but it is now. So they really held it at 20,000. Um, so um, not ready yet uh, to call it either way, okay? All right, Amy, does that help, Amy? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, okay. that helps a lot. I, I'm like in the cooking, cooking. I have a lot here. <laughs> okay. So thank okay. you. You're welcome. Yeah, just hold, just wait, just wait. I'm on doing it, yeah. Um, and Gerald, you want another question? Gerald? Yeah, I had a, a question on tech stock. Tech, okay, all right. It is going to be... Um, the symbol is going to be P as in Paul, B as in Bravo, T as in Tango, S as in Sierra, PBTS. Okay, PBTS. Okay, what are you looking to do here? Go long, and I bought a couple of shares, and it's looking like this is, I don't have, of course, I don't have, hold on a second, I don't have, um, it, it pulled back quite a bit. Um, today and Friday, I believe. Okay. You're not in it. You're not in it yet, right? Yeah, I have I have a couple of shares on it. Oh, you have some shares in it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's take so I was looking to see what, what is it that's consolidating. It's an, it's a nasty chart on the um on the daily. Um yeah. yeah. This is not good here. Yeah, so uh, that's exactly what I was kind of concerned with. Yeah, this is not good. I mean, it has a history of doing that, right? Okay. See, that it has a history of not really, really nice. It, it might, it looks like it might be a pump and dump, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It looks like they they drive it up and then they they dump it, right? They drive it up and then they dump it. Okay, I was just curious. I don't have a. Of course, I don't have stop balls, so I was just wondering what it was doing. Yeah, not as um, um, not as smooth. This this is a concern right here. That's you know, um, uh, I, I think there are better opportunities out there. Um, when you look at Yell Y E L L. What is it? Y E L L Yellow. Oh yeah, that's the transportation, right? Transportation, right. All right, much better. Look at that, much better. Yeah, yeah. Mu oh my, that's much, look at that. Are you in this one? Yeah, I'm in that one as well. Okay, good job, good job. Look at this, great trading, look at that. Great trading, nice markdown phase, right? Perfect buy signal. We didn't have a buy signal all in here. The last buy signal, this one, this one made it. This one failed here, but cut your loss pretty tightly there. 
All right, and let's take a look at the previous one here. Even that previous one here was pretty good. So yeah, this is this is really nice. Buy signal was here, all right? Now it's in that accumulation phase. Um, much better trade here, yeah. You guys see the difference between this setup and the, the previous setup? Yeah, it's much better. Yeah. Absolutely, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate yeah, that. Big, yeah, big difference, big difference. Um, okay, so Deborah, um, Jen, would you say that? Um, uh, okay, that's a good question. So stocks that are under five dollars are too risky for new people. Absolutely not. Right? I think expensive stocks are, are too risky. Right? Um, okay. Um, yeah, there's a mindset out there that if it's if it's under if stocks are uh, and Deborah, that's a good question. Um, there's a mindset on, out there, and and it's really because the hedge funds and you know uh, the they they want you to buy the ex, the expensive stocks, right? Um, but understand, the more expensive the stock, the more capital you put at risk. Okay, the more capital you put at risk. And um, if a stock is, let's say you, you buy, um, you know, I don't know, Amazon or whatever that's out there, right? You know, um, and you, you buy, let's just say you buy that stock at $400, right? It's got to go to uh, $800 to get 100%, right? Right. Whereas you could take, let's take, um, you know, Gerald's stock right here, let's say he got in at $4, all it's got to do is get to $8 to get 100%. So you're using less capital, right? You're using less capital, and it's much easier for, for his stock to go to $8 than for $400 stock to go to $800. So, you, okay, so, um, but not only that, right? All, our concern is this, right? It's not that the price of the stock is cheap, right, is that they're buying it. So we can have an expensive stock and if the institution are, are, not, are not buying it, all right, or it's not in that nice, you know, it's, it's, it, the price has come down, right? It's gone through that markdown phase, right? Gerald is not buying it up in this area right here. So he's buying it all the way down. We'll let someone else buy it up here, all right? The fact that the fact that it's it's uh, we've got a buy signal, Deborah, and it's accumulating, buys are starting to get in, is because not that it's cheap, is because um, that sector they might be buying that sector, or it might they might have some fundamental reason to buy it. Okay, so we don't just yeah, if you just buy it, if it's just if you buy it because it's just cheap, yeah, that's very risky, right? Um, but we want to buy the stocks that the big institutions are buying, okay, on very, very high volume. So all these stocks here, if you look here, that's 267 million shares being traded here, 37 million shares, shares being traded, 155 million shares being traded, and that's in a three-month period. So they're really holding um, positions in that trade. Yeah. So yes. Cheap stocks can be risky if we buy them just because they're cheap or inexpensive, all right? But if you trade them the right way, absolutely, you will, um, you, uh, it's, it's your, the best bang for your buck. So we want it cheap, inexpensive, but then we want to know that the institutions are buying them. Buy them at the right time, okay? So not in here, not in here, not in here, not in here buy them when the buyers are starting to buy it. all right all right does that help deborah yes it does thank you okay you're welcome very good very good all right guys um okay all right guys um i will see you guys for new traders um those of you who are here for the first time uh, we have a class tomorrow uh, for new traders. So uh, uh, same time. So keep coming, keep coming. Um, and uh, we will we'll take a look at uh, equities um, further on Thursdays. Okay, guys, take care.
Thank and, you. And uh, you guys, thanks for coming. Have a good evening. Take care. Bye-bye. You too.